Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Note Effects. Don't forget, your remote has more than one button. So if you don't like my show, change it. I really could care less what you do. Because half the, some of the people in this town are cowards and jerks. And they, uh, they got big mouths. And then they won't even come to the forefront and confront me. But I'll confront you. Doesn't hurt me in the slightest. Last week I stayed at Floral Street High School land where they play soccer. Uh, houses being built for officials down Cape Cod. Uh, uh, on the Floral Street basement, records getting destroyed because of no dehumidifiers. One road in town getting paved once a year. Floral Floral Street gym built for neighbors who stated they would sue the town if there was not a gym built with no showers. Donahue Rowing Center, what a spring day, ask. Ask your wonderful officials, millions of dollars being being spent behind one back. Uh, behind our back. Free, free out of free cash. All you people don't have is the guts to ask officials. You don't have the guts to ask officials about these programs, about these programs, uh, problems that happened in town. And I bet you there's more and more and more happening. But I'll find out and I'll tell you. This town, and you people don't understand. All you know how to do is donate, donate. Donate to that useless library we have there. And, uh, and the useless school department who squawks they need this. They don't need nothing. They don't need a thing. Get that through your head. They need a new superintendent, a new school committee. That's what's ruining this town. But no, no, no. Don't say nothing. Sit on your big fat rear ends and don't do nothing. Have a beer, put your feet up and watch TV. And curse at them on TV if you do that at all. You're probably saying, oh, look at that. They're doing such a great job saving us money. Yeah, they're saving your money, all right. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, ha, 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 why not? Uh, ha, 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 uh, Because you're afraid. They, they, they won't do you any favors. That's the reason why you don't ask them. Ah, uh, ha, because you're all a bunch of cowards. Every one is. Ah, uh, ha, ha. That must be their job. We are talking about, we're not talking about $5. We're talking millions. Why the big secret? It says that, that they don't vote for anything except schools. Water plant, anything and everything. But you stupid people won't. The school lies 24 hours a day. The water superintendent does the same because both cannot be trusted. The school lies about enrollment and money. The water superintendent lies about the real facts in front of the selectmen. Everyone, the town manager is totally lost. Uh, get a Boy Scout. If you don't, if the people know what, what I know and many others know, you'll be taken back and do yourself a favor. Move out of town. It's a matter of town before the town fails It's in everything. Just, w just wait, just wait, just wait. Have a town meeting to vote on a failing, uh, how the town is failing. There are too many, there are too many towns, too many times so-called officials who are town meeting members. They must resign. A town is for the residents, not only not officials. The town meeting is not for officials. That's for sure. It's bad enough you got the stupid officials on the stage who say yay and nay and this and that. And you stupid people, listen to them. People are deranged. You're all sick in the head. Remember that. You're all sick in the head. Uh, you'll never have a good town. Uh, 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 wake up, all you stupid, no guts, brown noses. Someday soon you'll all be surprised when the town hall is empty. Police station, we need bad, but no, no one cares. I will, I will gather names who don't care about the police station and give it to 
give the list. The town manager's name will be out there just in front. Just wait. The most important service in town. You call them names. I have the, I'll have the, that list of, of people. You phony jerks, all you jerks. Move out of town. You do no good living here. Move out of town now. Please do everyone a favor. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh, ha, uh. ha. The people, the people at the town hall will have to buy, buy their own coffee. Too bad. The residents must go up there and buy them pounds of coffee every week just to make sure they brown those them and get what they want. A bunch of, what a, what a town. What a disgusting town. It may... It may become a normal town. Sure it will. All you people think you're getting away with was what you do. But a lot of people know you before, know you, uh, 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 what? know you to leave, be, to have to leave because you can't get another job anywhere else. What would you do then? Nothing. You'd do nothing then. What about Jordan Pond? He was supposed to be cleaned up years ago. But Mr. Magato spent all the money on a school department. What about this new town manager? He can petition the EPA for money to clean Jordan Pond, Pond. But he won't. He'll listen to the other boards who will brainwash him. Let me tell you something, Mr. Big Shot Town Manager. If it's not cleaned in the next two months, you'll hear from me person to person. And I'm not an easy person to talk to. And I really don't care what you do or what you say. Uh, you and that bunch of jerks who stick up for that school department. Smarten up. If you're no good, you're a bunch of rats. But Mr. Magato received money from DEP and gave it to the rotten school department. Must be clean, not give the disgusting school department any money to the school department. One more cent here, Mr. Town Manager. The pond must be clean. The smell at night is terrible. I know certain people don't care because it's in precinct too. A lot of parents bring their children down the pond and have their kids play in the water and people go fishing. Why have, why have a beautiful pond be polluted? But this town has 24 hours a day. Clean a pond. But you all you know how to do is clean Dean Park for all the yuppie rats. What are you cleaning Dean Park for? So you you, you put your you'll you'll get a pat in the back. Oh thank you, thank you for cleaning Dean Park. Dean Park Dean Park's a sump. It's a natural disaster. What's so important about Dean Park? You're kissing the behinds of all the people up there? What about uh, Jordan Pond? What about doing some butt kissing down here at Precinct 2? Uh, God only knows it clean. It has to be cleaned. But you won't clean it. But my, my goal, my goal in life is to have it clean. Over your head. Don't call. Don't call Boston, Mr. Town Manager. Don't call no one. Because you're useless like the rest of them. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what is so important about Dean Park? The town certainly hates residents in Precinct 2. I will tell you where to put the other precincts. Clean the pond. You're supposed to be a town manager. Uh, well, act like one. Uh, uh, the rotten, disgusting school department has plenty of money, but they give the big-headed superintendent raises. Why? Why? He don't deserve a raise. He don't deserve a penny. Uh, 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 uh. He is nothing but a useless person. He deserves nothing. But I am going to have another finance committee meeting. Uh, we, are, we are going to have another finance committee meeting that gives them everything. It goes without saying. The finance and the school committee, they stick together. They both stick the school, The school crucifies handicapped children. And no one sees the only... Oh, that this only the parents that are always abused by the school department. I got proof. I got written proof on how some of these uh, parents got abused by the school department because of the uh, rotten letters they sent home 
and the lies they advance to school to the poor handicapped children because they don't know nothing in that last class. They advance them to another grade because they're sick and tired of them. They don't want to teach them. That's the, that's the bottom line. They don't want to teach them. Well, you teachers get out of here. Who needs you? Bunch of lowlifes. <laughs> it's time that we, that we all come to the surface. You're being lied, backstabbed, school department. You're lying, backstabbed, school department. We don't need another useless school. All you, all you lying, uh, all you lying cheats and uh, chats, enrollment, and some teachers are all a big disgrace. Keep, keep lying. You and the finance committee are going down, and not downstairs. And imprisonment is too good for you. When you have a when you have a clean, when you have a bunch of, when you have a clean town, let me know. I won't know because you people will lie. Show, keep showing off. Think you're a big shot. Phony people on the finance committee and the school committee, like Matt Adler, a real worm, a real worm from the word go. He invented the word worm. He's a little snake in the grass. Ah. Uh, he has no right to talk about from this hateful big mouth. Go to other towns and see what the boards are really like. The rotten town, this rotten town, who, will, who won't endorse a police station. Why won't you endorse a police station? Why? Because you're, you're busy, you're too busy giving, your, giving the money to the school department and the uh, library. The library's no good. You can think the rotten finance committee and the other boards are playing down a police station. The only boards that are get good is the zoning and planning, saying some members of the selectmen. The school department should all resign. All the people, all the other boards are very good. They are real people, not phonies. You people in town donate to the not needed library and school department. Why? They have enough money. The library is, in, is a daycare center for certain people and groups. It will come to an end shortly. Just wait. If you if you can, this town must must endure must endure project after project. When one ends, another one starts. Just to keep the people in Hawk the rest of their life. Just to keep the residents in Hawk the rest of their life. These big shot big shots up on up on North Street, they don't care. They got money. What do they care? If they got money, let them pay for it only. Let them pay for everything. The good residents shouldn't pay a dime. Let these, let these big shot phony stinking rats up there pay for it. Uh, let them pay for everything. Matter of fact, let them pay for a new police station. Has anybody ever thought of that? They can well afford it. And endorse the police station. Endorse the police station. Endorse the police station. Go to the town hall and say you'd like to have a police station built. Tell anybody and everybody. But no, you won't. You won't. You don't care about the policemen. And I'm going to get a list of all you rats who don't care. And I'm going to give it to the policemen, too. I'm going to give it to the policemen, too. See how far you get then, you bunch of jerks. It's all you are is a bunch of jerks. Uh, uh, uh. It will come to an end shortly. Just wait if you can, you can, uh, it will come to an end. Just wait if you can. This town must endure project after project. When we, when one comes up, another one starts. What a dirty trick. Leave the residents alone. If some of the residents won't, won't let it have, won't let them alone pay for it with all the idiots anyway. You think my show is bad in the past? Just wait. This will get worse. They will, they will get worse. The truth must be told. What happened at the library? Did they close down after finding a couple of bags of dope in the library? I know what you can donate. Donate money so they can build another room where these punk kids can smoke dope and stack the dope, stack the dope up. Why don't you do that? God forbid, God forbid, God forbid.
People, people are saying what happened. My kid won't do that. Oh, my God. Take the library, knock it down, donate the money to, to it so they, can be, so they can buy something dope, so some, some more dope. Sure, uh, let's put an addition on your library so they can buy more dope. Why not? Why not? Why hide it? Leave it out. We'll leave it out behind a locked door. Let them smoke their stupid brains out. And some of the people who work for the town, let them smoke their brains out too. Uh, all you idiots donate money to the library. It should be no problem. After all, the kids need a spot to take drugs. What better place than a town building? Keep donating. What the school buildings have. What the school buildings, how smoke, how do they smoke in there? Keep donating to them. I think I said enough about them bunch of ignorant jerks. And they all are a bunch of ignorant jerks. I build another room for the smoke, for the dopies. You'll be better off. You'll be better off. As I said, I'll, I'll give you a little antidotes out of this book. This book is, is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, let's, uh, what can we talk about today? So many things here to talk about. Oh, the pumice stone. The word pumice comes from the Latin pumix, meaning foam. The substance, that's, the substance is so light that it can float on, on water's surface. The ancients found pumice stone uh, endlessly useful. Glass-like pumice forms when superheated molten rock spews from the volcano and quickly cools, cools, even when pulverized. Pumice doesn't lose its shape, uh, shape edges. It, will, it was such a popular commodity that it traveled as far as volcano-less Egypt where archaeologists had uncovered in ancient work tables. The Egyptians found it abrasive, useless, as a polisher and exfoliant. Pumice stone is very, 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 very useful. You can use it almost anywhere. Uh, they mix pumice with vinegar and use it as toothpaste. Huh. Despite the fact that it eventually wore away the tooth enamel. Greeks and Romans used pumice to remove unwanted body here. Its popularity continued into the 12th century where it was featured in the Trattoria, a widely read collection of books on women's health. Pumice is low density, making it a key ingredient in concrete. Mix pumice with lime and you'll get uh, pozzolana, the smooth paste that the ancient Romans used to construct the dome of the Pathalon. Today, the addition of sandpaper pumice to industrial washing machines give jeans the, conver the converted stonewashed look. Ground pumice is an ingredient in low density paint and it's incorporated in rubber and plastics. Uh, 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 it's incorporated rubber and plastics for its anti skid properties. Uncommonly known, uncommonly known, bacon, soda, and vinegar. Whether together or apart, bacon, soda, and vinegar can clean and disinfect almost anything. Scrub bacon, soda gently onto dry, dry lips to get rid of dry skin. Sprinkle it on patio furniture and keep it from getting moldy. Use it to rejuvenate a barbecue drill, barbecue grill. A dash of vinegar added to laundry will stop static cling. Mix bacon, soda, and vinegar together. They become an environmental friendly portion against portion strong enough to cut through whatever clogging your bathtub drain. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, uh, wood ash. Some historians suggest the Romans learned that about soap from the Celts when who called it Sopo and used it as a hair gel. As long as humans have been burning fires for warmth and worship, we have been entranced entranced by the way wood smolders to ash. 
but the wood ash is far more than smudgy remains of a fire. It is a crucial ingredient in a substance that keeps us clean from millennia. One legend has, has, has it the soap got its name from the mythical Mount uh, uh, Sapo, which where Roman worshippers made animal sacrifices. Uh, women liked to wash their clothes nearby in Tibet Tiber River, where animal fat and wood ashes were from the sacrifices mixed together to produce a sudsy substance that made clothes look and smell new. Babylonians accredited, accredited with inventing soap around 2800 BC, but their ingredients were no different. Recipes left on uh, Babylonian clay containers detail how wood ash must be mixed with war fat and water, despite the prevalence of wood, wood ash soap. The Greeks and Romans used it mostly for washing clothes and cleaning statues rather than themselves. Since then, people have discovered that wood ash can do more than clean. Early Americans potters used it to make beautiful glazes. Uh, today, it's used for fertilizing gardens, repelling slugs, melting ice on a driveway, even de-skunking a pet. It's, it's dead remnant of a living tree, but wood ash works wonders when it comes to making things fresh. Boy, that's... Uh, that's pretty interesting to know. Pretty interesting to know. The lufa. The lufa and its juice have been used in Asian countries from, for everything from respiratory ailments to softening the skin. There is a common misconception that lufa comes from the sea. Uh, but it's actually a gourd that has been grown, grown, grown wild for thousands of years. The lufa, also known as lufa and ragar gourd, has, has an easy to remove outer shell protecting a dense thicket of vascular bundles that when cleaned and dried from a absorbent mesh ideal for a sponge. Lufa has been cultivated for so long that it's hard to know when it's uh, originated, where it was originated, but we know it flourishes in tropical climates. Settlers became brought lufa to North America, where it became one of the most domesticated crops in the colonies. Until the 19th century, bats were used, taken frequently in the United States. In the United States, lufa was used to scrub teapots, but one doctor reported the friction bathes drew poisons out of the skin and made it glow. American women started looking for the most effective scrubbing implement in 1893. Journalist Neil Cusack wrote the letters enthusiasm for it left their faces red as lobsters. The U.S. Navy later employed Lufa to filter, ship, filter oil in the ship engines when during World War II, but the use of Lufa as a sponge still prevails today. Hydrogen peroxide, here's a good one. As one of the most common cleaning agents, the household stable wasn't actually discovered until 1818. That's when French chemist Louis Jacques Thenard, inspired partly by Napoleon's directive to make batteries containing, uh, combined with barium peroxide with nitric acid and later hydrochloric acid, one of the first things the road found was a solution containing more than a 8% uh, hydrogen peroxide, where corrosive and left temporarily marks on the skin. In 1920, scientists at attempted to use it to treat patients suffering from pneumonia and cancer with no success. It found it found use during World War II in submarine tur turbines as a propellant in torpedoes. But its explosive potent potency required an exceedingly careful handful. Despite its high harshness, peroxide is one of the most ingredients that Gene Harlow, the original blonde bombshell 
used in the 20s and the 30s to dye her hair platinum. It also added the toothpaste to whiten teeth. It a sometimes toxic pack paste, a workhorse for cleaning wounds, bleaching library, uh, laundry, and generally making our lives grimy, less grimy. Huh. Uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Borax is also called tin cow, a sand sandcrete word for soft, colorless mineral that's used for trade. Centuries of the first extracted from salty lakes in places like Tibet and Kashmir that traded along the Silk Road from the 9th century. Arab gold silversmiths used borax to separate purified metals. Potters in, in 10th century China used it to add uh, the, the durability and shine to pots just as modern potters do today. When borax made it in Europe, uh, in the Middle Ages, it was employed to soldering process to clean metals soon to be melted. Uh, borax, uh, then F. F. M. Smith, the borax king, unearthed the salt flats at Death Valley, established the Harmony do Borax Works. Smith's famous 20 mule teams would haul the mineral from Furnace Creek to the railway to near Mojave, a grueling 165 mile trek. Though it made the hottest places, the world's hottest places, the mules made their trips about only about six years because the super, super supplanted by the radio, supplemented by the railroads. But the c continued marketing of 20 mule team borax turned the journeys into symbols of the old west. Well, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I filled you. I hope I filled your minds with disgusting things, and I hope you continue to hate me. And uh, which I'm very, very proud to say, I love it. Uh, I'm going to have more facts, more figures, more disgusting things on how the town spends your money behind your back, but that's coming. Thank you very much for watching and have a good evening.